Again, just like earlier, when someone was talking about Antarctica, um, someone was talking about Antarctica, and there's innocent ignorance. And once you're exposed to certain things, then you're like, oh, that makes sense. So these people are like this, or that's what's over there. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? So, um, and this is the thing. So, uh, we, we, British, English, we grew up on a lot of American TV. So we kind of have a feel and a vibe, um, a little bit more intel and in the music as well. So we get a little bit more intel. And I don't think it's the same in reverse. Do you know what I mean? Why are you going to watch our shit TV? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're going to watch stuff like EastEnders. Like, that's dead. So, so yeah, but I'm happy that... Um, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'm happy that, you know, I could have, you know, changed or altered the paradigm um, on your perception of what British or guys from the UK are like. Do you know what I mean? People from the UK are like. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I, I, this might sound, I don't know, a bit, bit egotistical that, I don't recognise anyone like myself in the UK anyway, like, um, there's not a lot of people I feel like I can relate to, so it just might be a, a me thing, I don't know, but, yeah, there, there's, there's many different types of people in the UK, many different types, and it's so, so, so diverse over there. But either, either way, you're good people though, child, I can tell, do you know what I mean, good people. There's another one in here, but well, he was in here. Um, Red Golden Child. I'm not like, um, there's another one of us in here. But see, 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 see? He's here, he's here. I was, I was just mentioning you. But then saying that, Red, like, put it this way. Me and Reds, yeah, we went to the same primary school. So I've I've known this man for nearly thirty six years. Yeah, thirty six years. Yeah, yeah, and that like yeah. And what I will say is, there's many people that's come from where we've come from, like the same exact soil. Okay, that isn't doing. For whatever reason, and, and I'm not trying to put anyone down, I'm just saying that, like, I don't want to say life has given them a bad hand, but I'm just saying, like, they haven't coped with the hand that they was given, okay? And hopefully it's momentarily, because all of us has been beaten momentarily, and I hope that they find their reawakening, right? But they haven't coped with it well. Do you know what I mean? And they haven't seen the downfalls as an opportunity to grow and develop on their self, okay? And uh, because, you know, the person I was 20 years ago isn't the person I am now. It's because, you know, in the words of DMX, I found meaning within my suffering, you know what I mean? And I defined it and I, 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 I grew from it. And I realized that if I'm not growing, I'm dying. So I continue, continue to work on myself and my personal development. And I'm not perfect, but that's my goal, okay? You know, I'm not aiming for the clouds, I'm aiming for the sun. <laughs> I'm aiming for Pluto. You know what I mean? Like the furthest one, I'm not aiming in there. And if I land in the clouds, then you know what? Yes, I tried. You know what I mean? So, um, you know what I mean? So it's, it's not easy, but at the same time, it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to be easy. Who said it was going to be easy? But there's people that where me and Red Golden Child come from that haven't uh, coped well. And I hope that it's momentarily and they find their reawakening because there was a couple of times where I was on my face, you know, and um, I, I defined